Hello, Frauders. My name is Chris Niles. I serve on the professional staff as Teak's Director of Alumni Engagement. I hope that you and those you love are safe and well. I hope you're following the CDC guidelines and whatever local restrictions you face and that you're staying safe. I'm here at home myself in Pennsylvania where I typically work from. I'm here with my wife who's working from home now, though she typically works in another state and both of our kids, one of whom himself had to leave his college campus early and come home from his freshman year. There are urgent needs right now across our entire fraternity. And that also means there are opportunities for every single frauder to make an impact. Those opportunities may be both large and small, immediate and long-term. It doesn't matter exactly what you do, frauders, but what does matter is that you do something. I recognize that the circumstances and the timing for each of us is very different right now. And what I am asking, if and when that timing is right, that you do what you can to help support Talk App Epsilon and support your fellow frauders. TKE has always been the fraternity for life. We're not just a student organization. It's not just a fond memory that we carry and reminisce about. It's unfair to just think about it during homecoming and reunions. It's a bond we all share and a promise we made to ourselves and to each other to contribute to Talk Cap Epsilon throughout our lifetime. Now is the time for all of us, and I mean every one of us, to demonstrate the best of what Talk Cap Epsilon is. We know that fraternity matters and that Talk Cap Epsilon makes a positive impact on people's lives. In this time of physical distancing, this is our opportunity to utilize our social connectedness, our brotherhood, and our powerful relationships that we know make a difference in frauders' lives, whether they're 18 or 80. We have thousands of collegiate teaks who have just been displaced from their campus routines and are who are trying to navigate unexpected changes. They're struggling to figure out remote classes, part-time jobs, new living arrangements, future employment, and more. Many students just received bids or were in the early weeks of new member education and now they've been separated from their fellow students and may not be sure what to expect. Our seniors are trying to figure out what this transition means for them, how they'll close out their academic experience, their undergraduate experience in the chapter, and how they face the transitions in front of them as they enter the workforce. Throughout the alumni ranks, we are all concerned about safety and the well-being of those we care about, work-related challenges, income and security, and dealing with the ongoing uncertainty of what's next and how this will resolve itself. We need to be thinking about the well-being of our men, the strength of our chapters, and the future of the fraternity, and we need to take active steps to help support that. One of the things that has helped me already in this situation, certainly, is my connection with my fellow frauders. I have the good fortune of working with an outstanding crew of frauders and others who commit themselves full-time to the well-being of Talk Kappa Epsilon. And in the last couple of weeks, I have made a point of reaching out to many other frauders that I've known through the 20 years I've been a part of the fraternity, volunteers, new student leaders, other friends I've made along the way. That helps me feel better about what's been going on, and I want to be able to share that outreach with each of those men in turn. It reminds me of the importance of our relationships and the power of what TKE represents in my life and in theirs. Here is my ask of you in this time of uncertainty and change. I ask every frauder in the bond to get more connected, to stay connected, and to be of service. Help your fellow frauders and help talk up Epsilon. Let me offer some quick ideas and suggestions here to add perspective. I'm happy to provide more information about any of this and to help in any way I can. If you feel out of touch with your fellow frauders, reach out to someone and encourage others around you to do the same. Make calls, send text messages, make noise on social media. Try to reach out to those frauders who haven't been in the loop. Check in on those you do keep in touch with and perhaps extend your circle and think about some who you haven't been in touch with for a while. Build momentum within your scroll so that everybody is making a little effort and everybody's getting checked in on. We can help by providing alumni lists you can also access the Lost Brother function on the Teak website to see who we're missing contact information on and perhaps help fill in some of those gaps. 
If you'd like to know more about what's going on for TEEK and how we operate, what's going on on college campuses nowadays, you can take some of this time, perhaps while you're stuck at home, and take advantage of the online resources and information that's available to learn more about how things are operating. We have an informational page at tke.org slash coronavirus that shares our initial statement and continues to provide other updates. In fact, there's a link there to some of these, other, these and other ideas about alumni engagement and how we can each make an impact. We have a collection of resource guides there that provide information on everything from alumni associations to becoming a volunteer, how recruitment and risk management both work nowadays, even how to restart your own chapter and to work with us toward that future possibility. The Teak, our award-winning magazine, is available online. If you haven't seen that in the recent past, I would strongly encourage you to take advantage of that. If you're a life loyal Teak, you can have a hard copy subscription to that and be receiving it at home. In fact, as Life Loyalty, you can also have access to the archives of the magazine and have access to all those magazines throughout the history of TKE. And I know for some of you, that might be a little bit more positive and interesting than some of the TV you've been binging on in your homes. You can learn more about Life Loyalty at tke.org LLT. We have an online educational platform. That's at edu.tke.org. I know I'm throwing a lot of URLs, but it's easy to find this information on our site. On that site, we have volunteer educational videos. We've had over 400 volunteers who have run through this year's segments of the Volunteer Academy videos, and we continue receiving really strong feedback about that content and the information we're trying to share with more of our alumni and our volunteers. It's a great opportunity to learn more about how things are working uh, and to see some more of the staff uh, each talking about our particular areas and our functions. It's important for all of our groups to know that our spring operational calendar remains much the same. We're still following the typical requirements and deadlines that were already built into the annual calendar. Strong student leadership and the alumni guidance and support right now are needed to help keep groups on track for that. We don't want groups to get too distracted. We don't want groups to get discouraged in the midst of this change. Groups that start thinking they might just hang back and wait until fall and have a reset at that point may be setting themselves up for even greater risk and could be facing even tougher challenges in terms of membership, in terms of finances, if they wait until then rather than keeping the momentum going right now. If you have experience yourself working remotely or teaching or studying online, you can be a great resource to all the teaks who are out there now trying to figure this stuff out for themselves. As a parent, or perhaps if you work as a teacher, you can be a resource for teaks who are at home right now and trying to juggle the reality of working from home and having their children at home throughout the day, perhaps differently than it used to be. If your own chapter or your metro area does not have an alumni association that helps feed these connections across the alumni, we can help with that. This may be a great opportunity to go beyond simple outreach and move into some more formal organizing. I'd be eager to work with anybody that wants to help build a more formally structured group for your alumni, and it would be great to have you on the books and officially represented at Conclave 2021 in Houston. Now's the time to help build something if your group isn't already organized. Some collegiates right now are questioning whether to return to Teak or whether perhaps even to return to college next fall. Outreach from an alumnus, somebody who can help share some perspectives and about the value of TKE in their lives could make a very meaningful difference and could help with our chapter retention and help buoy up the strength of your own home chapter in this uncertain time. Every frauder has access to an online account with us. You can log in or claim your account at myteek.org, M-Y-T-K-E.org. That's where you can check and update your personal information. You can register who your big brother was, who your little brothers are. 
You can help share information about those lost brothers that we're missing information about. This is a great time to help fill in those gaps, build those connections. Please log into MyTeak yourself and encourage others to do so. As I shared with many volunteers earlier this week in an email, I know that Teak may not have been at the top of your priority list during this time of upheaval. What I'm asking though is that it's not entirely absent from the list. For those volunteers who have already been very active, thank you so much for what you've been doing. Your leadership does matter. It helps tremendously and it will continue to do so. To everyone listening, please get more connected, stay connected, and be of service. Help with what's going on now. Your creativity and energy can help us face the current situation and can help us plan for what's coming next to help build a stronger Talk Half Epsilon. Please share this video with other frauders and encourage them to get more involved as well. If you have any questions or want to talk to me directly, I'm pretty easy to find. My email is cniles at tke.org. My contact information is very easy to find on the staff page of our website. Stay safe, Rodders, and be well. If there's anything I can do to support you or your efforts, please contact me directly. Rodders, I love the fraternity.